Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Cliff with Pay Flamingo Go Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we got three jobs on the schedule. Uh, heading out to the first one right now. Uh, all the jobs pretty much gonna be in the Tampa Bay area. First job is in Tampa. Second job is in uh, Lutz. And the third job is in Lando Lake. So it's all North Tampa for me today. And I also gotta go get me some silly cast. I got two nice paver jobs coming up. Which, oh, by the way, I, I landed a, a, a supplier that can ship out Deco products, man. Uh, I had been asked many times, where do I get the sealer and all that? And, you know, at the time, you had to get it from a distributor near your house or near your area. But um, there is a, a distributor now that, that sells it and ships it to you. And uh, if, you, if, if you're in Florida, you get it the next day. So that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? So I guess if you out of Florida, you probably get it in two days. So if you put your order in by 4 p.m., you get it the next day if you're in Florida. But um, if you need that link, man, just message me um, or email me and I'll shoot you the link um, to get the products. You know what I'm saying? You can get Deco products, Silicast. You can get the Travelcast for the Travel Team. You can get Paver Stripper. Uh, you can get Concrete Sealer, all that. So yeah, man, we on the way to the first job, man. I appreciate all y'all support, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, leave me a like. And if you got any questions, just go ahead and uh, drop them below, man. So I'm in traffic right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna see y'all at the job. All right, you guys, we're at the first job for the day. Returning customer, you guys remember I did this uh, blue house before, so um, I'm here to do the driveway. Uh, it extends to the back. So I'm gonna go show you guys what it looks like. So this is the driveway here. Like I say, it just rained, so a lot of leaves are in the driveway. We're looking at all this concrete up here. This old painted area is very old. She know the paint might come up, but this was, this has been over 10 years since it's been here. So she's aware. It hasn't been clean in five years, she says. We're looking at all this up here. Like her plants are growing. There was nothing here last time I was here. All that rain. As you guys can see, the house still looks good. No paint, <laughs> runoff, none, none of that. I had cleaned these little sheds too, if you guys seen the video. And we're gonna be doing this little slab right here, little concrete slab. Like she put her pots and stuff here. You can see the little <laughs> area where the pots were. Yeah, that's the game plan, man. We're gonna downstream our SH, our chlorine, pool shot, whatever you call it. Break up the algae. We're gonna surface clean it up with that 8 GPM.
we got the driveway and this little back slab cleaned up. I still gotta do that one over there, but paint did pretty well. Didn't see any chips. Gotta rinse it up. It's gonna look great when it's finished. I didn't have to worry about it drying because um, overcast and we're in a shitty area, there's no sun, so I don't have to worry about the sun, um, sun drying the dirt back into the concrete. So let's go and get, uh, get it rinsed up. street this uh, slab it's pretty dirty still a lot of tanning stands on it pressure wash is not gonna get that off so we're gonna post you with a five percent and clear it up all right let's take a look we all finish here See this concrete came out pretty good. This is a nice slab of concrete, man. No lines whatsoever. I don't wanna get it dirty. This was the painted area. Came out pretty good, man. You know, the paint didn't really come up, so that was good. the back area here let's go check out the slab also guys if you're doing these concrete slabs also make sure you get the the size the border because then when they walk up the top part gonna be clean 
<laughs> the side's gonna be dirty. So I had the post treatment sitting on there, as you guys saw. And man, we're looking pretty good. Whatever's left is just gonna get killed by the SH. A lot of that black stuff you see, that's um, I'm not sure what that is. It's not um, it's like a some kind of coating on there. That's not uh, algae. Looks like algae, but it's not. But all the tanning is gone, pretty much. All right, you guys, we're gonna pack it up and head to um, Loops, Florida. We got a big driveway and a uh, pool deck and pool screen cleaning. See you guys when I get there. Okay, guys, we at the second job for the day. We're in Loops, Florida right now. Uh, we're gonna be doing a uh, driveway, sidewalk, um, pool deck and pool, pool screen. So this is the driveway here. It's a painted paver driveway. So a lot of the paint is already worn off, which he knows. He said he might touch it up. But um, you can see the curbs are pretty black. The drive, I mean, the sidewalks are pretty black also. He tried to do it himself. He does have a little small surface cleaner, but he said he had to tap out. You see, there's a lot of lines on the on the sidewalks. He does have some uh, some rust stains from the sprinkler system. I don't have any. Um, oxalic acid or I might have some oxalic I'm not sure I don't think I do I don't have no rust stain either so I may have to run to the store and just grab grab a bottle man because I, I want to make it look better for him so this is the driveway here same thing over here with the walkway you can see it's a little orange stain rust stain over here We're gonna get it all cleaned up. Let, let me go show you guys the back. All right, these are the back screens. So we got some heavy algae on there, all through here. Got a little bit of lichen on there. Nothing too heavy. Uh, we will be downstreaming. Oh yeah, this side is bad. This side is bad, look at that. A lot of algae on there. Look at that, you can see the dirt how it's caked on there. We're gonna be doing the pool deck. Oh yeah, you can see how bad these are from in here too. Little small deck. I'm doing my walk around, make sure you know, we're looking at the screens, make sure there's no holes. Yes, sir. So this is what we're doing here. We're going downstream the deck as well as the cage. You guys know I start from the outside. Now I walk my way inside. All right, let's go. My boy Chris, man, give me the idea for the for the one mount. I can put this on my one. I don't have to hold a camera. Maybe you got that the first person view. <laughs>
okay we got the cage totally downstream as well as the inside you can see everything is turning white look at that look at that cleaned up rinsed up look at that Whew. all that filth Customer was like, man, I want to see how long it's going to take you because this one here would have took me days. I said, man, you're in about like 30 to 45 minutes. I have the deck and the screens done. So um, we already soaked up the, uh, the pool deck also. So, you know, that's dwelling pretty well. We're going to surface clean it, get it all cleaned up. It's been about... 10 minutes since I started soaping. We're gonna give it a rinse, start from out here, and then go inside to finish up. We got the back all done, uh, cage and the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pre-treat this concrete. As you guys saw, the sidewalks are pretty bad. And also it's a painted driveway, so I'm not gonna rely on pressure washing it. I'm pretty much gonna soft wash it. So I'm gonna apply five, maybe a 6% mix. I will have to water, water down the edges of the grass just to uh, make sure, you know what I'm saying, I don't burn the edges. But um, that's all we're doing, man. Soft washing the driveway, but we're gonna pressure wash the dry, uh, the sidewalk as well as the street uh, gutters. Guys, we got done pre-treating all the areas. I'm wearing my mask for you guys that's been getting on me about it. So I got it on today. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So it's crazy, right? So the homeowner had cleaned this area, but he had a bunch of stripes just by post-treating it. You can see it looks a whole lot better. And I even surface clean it, man. The hot mix took all these lines away i could just rinse this right here and keep it going man you gotta see what it looks like
we all finished let's go check it out so this is the sidewalk the customer did had the lines in it i went ahead and uh finished the job for him no lines no stripes let's check out that the worst side of the sidewalk was over here this is what we're looking like over here on this side nice and clean the driveway i just soft washed it i rinsed it uh for applying the sh i let it sit for about 10 minutes and i just rinsed it off with a good high rinse without having to um, use a surface cleaner because that will definitely pull that paint up and make it worse let me take you guys around the back and see the pool cage and the pool deck all right this is the pool cage nice and clean it's dry now so i can you guys can actually see it versus when it's wet See over here, I was real dirty earlier. You can see right through it like glass. Look like the screen is missing, right? <laughs> over here was pretty bad too. That's what I'm talking about. This is the pool deck. Uh, I'm getting, I hate getting the pool deck dirty when I'm walking on it. Uh, oh, I'm good. It's the pool deck here. Okay, just clean. Can't beat this. Under here, cleaned up pretty well. Ready to be enjoyed. All right, you guys, we're gonna go up to, actually I'm gonna grab a lunch and then go to Lando Lakes for the last, for the last job. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, guys, we got the final job for the day. Right now we're in Lando Lakes, Florida. We're here for a, um, driveway cleaning fence cleaning a small little porch this is a realtor that i do i do a lot of work for so she's actually back on she's actually gonna sell this house so we're just getting it ready for the market so let's check it out so this is the driveway here sidewalk stops right here algae on it looks like the sprinkler system kind of leaks over here so this side right here is gonna be the worst I gotta get them to move the cars so I can clean the street curbs because they're pretty dirty too let's go check out the back see what the back looks like this is the back fence got some algae on it nothing major Got the inside. It's not that bad. It's like the, the corners got all the algae, really. <laughs> the panel's not really that dirty. But actually, nope. I see some dirt over there. downstream this for sure <coughs> excuse me if we need to we'll go ahead and um hit the rest with a pump up sprayer i gotta clean up my 12 volt anyway so i just flush that into a pump up sprayer and use it on the fence since that's a five percent mix uh we're gonna downstream the driveway get that cleaned up and um actually i might hit the fence i'm gonna come downstream the fence first downstream the driveway and I'll let the fence dwell as I'm doing the driveway.
everything soaked up in the back. Let's go ahead and knock out the driveway. Check out the sides. Oh, look, they already come in clean, man. <laughs> that was gonna take longer. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> We're gonna downstream the front and um come back in here and rinse it up. <laughs> for the day everything came out great I'm gonna show you guys a little recap so the fence came out real good keep in mind oh man I splashed up some dirt on here I gotta rinse that off with the hose before I leave um keep in mind my downstream injector is a super sud sucker so it pulls more than a regular general pump injector so a lot of stuff that I clean up with downstreaming, that's the reason. You guys can see all that stuff that was right there, cleaned up, pretty good. This was the worst side. Nice and clean, man. Let's go check out the driveway. This is the driveway nice and clean still drying up but once it dries up it's gonna look fantastic sidewalk came out good I did put a little push treatment on the sidewalks especially on this side here because this side was really bad but look at that man street curbs stand out man you gotta stand out see it Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we are done for the day, man. Three projects, 242 right now. All right, you guys, man, I appreciate y'all checking the video out. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, man. So YouTube can show this video to more people. If you enjoy the content, that is. <laughs> Make sure you give a, give a like, leave a comment if you got any questions about anything. And uh, make sure you, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, man. So I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace.